For the bark and the thorax that he likes on I mean, a basic black nymph and he fishes this for rainbow trout now under loss but it'd be a good pattern all round no matter if you tie it brown olive the style you just tie it to suit yourself now, it is a very basic nymph uh, tied well with small two mil tungsten bead to get a wee bit of weight now edge bright is a material you get different colours there's a fluorescent yellow which is really bright what it is, so it comes in a sheet and it basically, when the light hits it, it throws the light to the edge, hence the name edge bright. And uh, the one I'm going to be using in this fly is the uh, fluorescent orange version. The pink's quite nice as well. Now, the, what, the hook I'm using is a medium wire hook. It's a B170 and it's a size 14. Now, the two sizes I've been tying is 16s and sized size 14s. So. And that's the, the size that seems to do well for them. Thread, I'm going to use the uni thread AO in black. Now, basically, I'm going to start back of the bead, and then we're going to put down a layer of thread until in line with the barb. Now, for the for the tail, you could use dyed black or whatever colour, uh, goose by or just hackle. In this case, this is a hen hackle dyed black. I pull out quite a few of the fibres, don't be shy with the fibres, just bring them 90 degrees from the stem, so line them, line them up and you can tear them away. It's quite a fine fibre on this ha hen hackle, so I've got quite a few. Length, round about shank, well, the body or the fly length there, just put that on your finger and thumb. And then offer the waist ends towards yourself and allow that turn to bring it on top couple of turns just to hold and there's your tail. Just going to trim this two thirds of the the fly or the aid I'm going to be tying the fly on and then I'm going to get some black wire, your TC wire. In this case this is the small. It's got the new TC wires, it's got a coat, it's a black coating on it. Uh, you different colours obviously. It's a really nice wire to use. You could probably get away with a medium wire, certainly in the bigger sizes, or even this one. Now I'm going to catch this the full length of the body. Now at this point I'm just going to take the thread up nice and tight. Just making sure the materials stay on the top. There we go. Now cut your edge bright, just two mil, two mil wide. And basically what I like to do is cut it into a point. So I'm going to go into the scissors, just catch it. I want to try and catch it the full length of the body. Now there's a taper there. It's a nice length that you're looking for. So what I'm going to do is catch it at this point here and wind down. And as I wind down, just slightly stretch it. Give you the distance that you need. When you get to this point, bring your thread back up and have a wee check at the length. Now the tapered cut should reach just about there. You see where it is? It's where you want it to be. Then what I'm going to do is build up the body. You could use a floss and if you want to in the bigger flies or use a heavier thread. Taking it all the way back down. Let me back up. Now I'm going to come again, come back down, put two thirds and back up. So you get that nice taper. So we check at the thickness. Then we take it slightly back, halfway, always looking at the taper that you're forming with the thread. That looks okay. At this point you can bring this up. Now all I'm going to do is just catch it or hold it with a couple of tons of thread so it's right on the top. So we check. 
That looks okay, just what it should have been sitting right. And then I'm going to bring up the wire, do a straight turn at the back, and then just basically quite obviously straight turns uh, with the wire, leaving a slight space. Just watch that the edge bright sitting in the top, because it will come round as you wind the wire. Only up to this point here. Now you're about a turn away from where the thread is. Now I go back where the thread turns, which was holding the edge bright, and then use a turn of the wire at that point. Lift the edge bright out of the way. Bring the thread, the the wire, to the front, and then catch it in with the thread. And there we are. That's it tied in. Now, what I'm going to do is use the edge bright as well as a part of the thorax cover. There we are. Now we can bend and break away the wire. Get a some peacock hair. There's a couple of strands. Tie in close to the tip. Make sure it's tied in. Make sure it's tied right up against the edge right. Now I only want a small area with that, so I'm going to slightly build it up. Come in then catch it. Come through with two or three turns of the thread. And then we can break that off because that's it well tied on. It's nice wee bit of colour there. Now for the legs, I'm going to go back to my hen cape. Now the hen cape you'll find right at the, the top, the sides are these dense, thick and short hen fibres, or hen, which are ideal for legs. Now take one of the hackles out. What I'm going to do is just cut a V in, just to, so I've got an even split, fibres down either side. There, and then pull these back. So you've got an even number of fibres either side of the stem. Just like that. So length, not too long towards, say, the point of the hook. Just come in from the top. Put your finger and thumb, hold them on the sides. Come round a couple of turns and then tighten up. And another one, just to make sure you've got it caught. Now at this point, you, if you're not happy with the position of these fibres, you can move them around. Let's see. That looks okay to me. And then we can trim this away. We can tidy this up. With some dubbing, which I'm going to do. Now some of the fibres are slightly tied forward. Uh, so what I'm going to do is draw these back with the thread. Fold them back. There's a small space. Now I want to see some of the edge bright, so don't be too tight with this, don't pull it tight, just draw it back. Now, because this is quite a stiff fibre, you can actually cut it before you tie it in. And then put your nail on top, and you get a bit neater. It's much, much neater if you do that. And then tying it down with two or three turns. And then you can see. Just need a wee bit, you don't need a lot. If you tie it in and then cut it away, you miss a lot, that way you get it nice and neat. Now I've got some black dubbing that I've mixed up myself, a bit of peacock glister, just mixed through it. Any dubbing that you've got, just that sort of blend in some some flash or anything that you have. Slightly dub it on. Now you don't need too much. When you're happy you can take away the excess. Just draw back any fibres going forward with the bead. So now what I do is always keep the thread tight. This is super glue. It's going to run it down about an inch of the, the thread. And then wind 
two to three times and then whip finish. Now when you do this it will stick instantly and it will make it a very strong fly. And there we are. Just a wee really simple nymph pattern. Nothing fancy. But it does well. He does really well with it. Catches a lot of fish.